This is how you fly FPV drones over water. The right way. Let's just say there's a better way to do it than I did. And in this video, I'll give you all my tips on how to succeed. Flying over water can be terrifying or adrenaline inducing. I guess it depends on how your perspective is towards it. I find it thrilling. You see, when you fly your drone in a situation where you can't recover it, if you crash, your heart beats a little faster, your hands might shake, but it is in those moments so into the flight that you have no time to think and the flow state just finds you. But there are smart ways to do some things and reckless, more ignorant ways to do some things in life. I was ignorant about a couple of things before I decided to freestyle around a moving boat. After reflecting, I learned some crucial lessons and I'm here to share them with you so that I can save you from financial loss and the heartache that may come from flying over water. FAA, if you're watching, first of all, I do want to clarify that my whole operation was legal. I'm a part 107 holder, so I am permitted to operate from a moving boat given that it is in a sparsely populated area which this was. Guys, here's what I think I should have done. As you may have seen from recent videos Nurk and Match Potchwad posted, waterproof floating drone kits and drones do exist. The Deep Designs Deep Six is a waterproof frame kit, and the Darwin FPV Hulk looks like an awesome bind and fly option. This would be my first piece of advice if you are planning to fly over water. Invest in one of these kits or the BNF option if you don't like the build. They will offer you the most amount of security when it comes to not letting a couple hundred dollars of equipment just plop into the ocean and sink into nothingness forever. I'll be honest, Honest, I think I got lucky. I didn't crash and so I didn't lose any equipment. But had I crashed, I did not even have a flotation device attached to my drone. Seriously. Had I crashed, failsafe, or had any type of malfunction, it was going to be goodbye everything. Goodbye stack, goodbye frame, goodbye motors, goodbye GoPro. Once again, fun adrenaline, but there's a smarter way to go about it. As I kind of alluded to before, if you don't want to spend the money on a specific water drone for your fleet, you can attach an empty water bottle to the bottom of your typical 5 inch. That should be enough for you to go rescue it if you hit the water. It should keep it afloat. I mean, I can't believe I didn't even think of doing that before I went out on the boat. Maybe I was just too excited or whatever. But guys, have some foresight, especially if you're going to proximity freestyle like this. We know it's risky. And if you want to go the extra mile to not only be able to retrieve your drone, but protect the electronics from the water, you should conform or coat your stuff. Yes, it takes a bit of a time commitment, but realistically, if you crashed, it would be well worth it. Brandan FPV has a great product called FPV worry free. From what I can see in his demos, it looks awesome. My first experience flying over water and from a moving boat was awesome. I had so much fun. I hit the flow state and the adrenaline was definitely there, but I think I should have been smarter about it. Another tip is that when you land, focus, especially if the boat is moving. It's tough and you don't want to mess up after ripping a sick pack. That would just hurt even more. I focused on getting the drone within the boat, watching out for human beings and then disarming it so it would fall into the floor of the boat like dropping a rock in a bucket. Have you ever flown over water? Do you like to risk it all or do you do the smarter thing? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.